Justin Krauss with Garage Flooring LLC. Today we're going to take you back inside my garage and have a look at the G Floor Garage Floor mats from Better Life Technology being installed. First, make a plan for removing any obstacles or working around them. Next, we took the moldings out. We did this so we could leave a quarter inch gap between the end of the floor and the wall and put the moldings back to cover that gap for a more professional appearance. With G-Floor, floor prep is easy. Simply sweep out your garage and make sure it's free of any dirt and debris. Next, just roll out G-Floor. In some cases, G-Floor can be rolled from the inside out. We did find some tools helpful, a tape measure, utility knife and T-square, long straight edge, carpenter square, and pen were also helpful. Cutting G-Floor is easy with a utility knife and a carpet or laminate blade. Here we're using a carpenter square. For medium cuts, we used a T-square. Note the cardboard underneath. This makes cutting easier and also keeps your blade from getting dulled. For some areas, like stairs and posts, we found that secondary trimming was necessary. Once done, we set the floor in place, making sure we leave the appropriate gap all the way around. Dealing with seams with G-Floor is easy. Here we're using a butt joint. Simply lay the mats together. The G-Floor seam strip is my preferred option. Fold one part of the floor back at the seam. Make sure to wipe up any dust that may have gotten on the mats. Use the parts still on the floor to draw a line that will represent your center point. Fold back your second mat. Again, make sure you clean off any dust or debris. Now center your seam strip along the line, rolling it out the complete length of the mat. Lay your first mat back into the seam strip then lay your second mat back into the seam strip, trying to keep them as tight as possible. G-Floor Center Strip provides another easy option. Put the center strip on the first piece, roll out your second piece, and tuck it into the other side of the center strip. While the G-Floor Center Strip is more visible, it's a much easier to install option. Please note, while some videos talk about using indoor-outdoor double-sided carpet tape, it is not recommended to be used with G-Floor at this time. For posts, measure the distance from the edge of the mat to the end of the post. Transfer that to a cut onto the mat. Next, measure the width of the post, mark that on the mat, and cut. Here, we do that freehand. Once the cutting is complete, roll your mat back out around the post. Hopefully, if you got all your cuts right, everything fits. We got lucky and everything fit the first time. We could not be happier with the G-Floor Small Coin product and the way it installed. It took about a couple of hours to put it down and should last us for years. The floor is beautiful, attractive, and functional with creepers and jacks posing no problem whatsoever. People ask us about the seams and how visible they are all the time. What's remarkable about G-Floor is the seams disappear when you're looking at the floor from above or from the side. The garage floor is a great place to start, but there's other things needed. 
Garage storage is also an important part of any garage. Here you see the handy wall and that's our next video.